Hey, what's going on guys? Mark Frank Montoya, NeverCaseTheMondays.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how half of the people, 50%, two out of the four people that you're going to bring into your business are going to just suck your energy out and you need to learn how to recognize this stuff right from the beginning. If I can get you through your learning curve, you know, done wrong, it's, a, it's just a, it's a nightmare. It's, it's a drawn out, you know, grind, right? But uh, done right, it's a dream and it took me years to realize this. I almost gave up and quit. You know, my upline didn't even really know this stuff, didn't have support training, things like that. So it took a lot of self-development to, to be able to learn this stuff and recognize. And after 10 years now, it's just like a uh, no-brainer, right? Don't, don't have to waste a lot of time with the people that are going to drag your business down. And you're probably feeling a lot of attrition and trying to drag people over the goal line and kicking and screaming, right? So there's four types of people uh, in this world. And from my experience, uh, these are the four types, okay? There's the... Especially in this business of network marketing, direct sales, home business, right? Everybody wants to be a millionaire, but uh, you don't have to waste a lot of your time. You can waste this, you know, you can invest the time into the right people, okay? So, first of all, there's the unmotivated people. You know, the time you don't even want to go approach them. You want to ask around them, right? You, they still have, uh, you know, contacts and stuff, but you want to talk to the most successful people they know. You don't want to talk to them. Right? They're, you know, the type of thing, oh, sweet, look at my video games, you know, and, and they're, they're just kind of comfortable and, and chilling. They're, they're fine being, not having a lot of money, a lot of time, you know, to waste. And people that have a lot of time, they usually have no money. And you can recognize that. They're unmotivated, okay? Unmotivatable. That's a big percentage. Most of the people are, are around this, this kind of lower lower level, right? So then there's the motivatable, motivatable people. And these ones will literally trick you in, like, into investing time with them. But as soon as you're gone, they're not going to motivate themselves, right? And you're, you're literally, you're, you're going to think you can help them. You know, one of the catches to the business is we think, you know, we want to help people. And the catch is we want to help the people that need it the most, right? And success leaves clues. Well, they need help because of their own habits. And so we go talking to the people that are easy to talk to, right? And, if that, and when that duplicates, you bring them into the business, they're going to go and talk to the people that are easy to talk to the, for them. And all of a sudden, they're going to go down. And, and all of a sudden, there's no hope, no money, all excuses, all stories. And they're not going to motivate themselves. They're motivatable while you're there. That's not, that's not going to work. Okay? Don't let them trick you into investing that time. Uh, wait until it's more painful for them to, to not change than to change. Maybe their habits. Maybe they'll never change. And that's usually the case. Okay? We can't change people. You can only control what you can control, which is not other people. You can't control their decisions. You can't just control what they're going to do with their habits and their daily decisions. You can only control yourself and what you're going to do. So I would suggest controlling what you can control, which is getting the information from the right people. Okay, so a little a step up from that is self-motivated people. It's a very small percentage. It's a, a, a very small, small, smaller than the most. And uh, you can recognize these people. They're already out going and getting it. They're successful. They don't have stories and excuses. They're business owners. They take the risk to get the reward, right? And, and you'll see by their actions. You're always going to hear, you know, from the motivatable people, oh, they get excited for a minute. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be your number one thing. I knocked this out. This is what I did before, you know. I would suggest see, go for the people that are, are you've, they've already been successful in another area in their life, right? And so they know what it takes, and it's delayed gratification. It takes practice, training, years of commitment and, and hard work and having the vision and not stopping, right? So you better be able to recognize this. Here is 5% or less, the very top. The, and this took me years to realize. And once I did, I don't have to waste a lot of time. I was busy running around state to state, country to country, supporting people, motivating people. You cannot motivate people. You can only inspire them from within maybe help them catch the vision, right? But the motivators, the people that motivate others like we do, right? Like it's, it's a very small percentage, but then again, you don't have to waste your time with the other ones. So you're going to actually save time and money recognizing these people. And you'll be able to recognize them by their attitudes, their actions, they're, they're busy. So that's counterintuitive, right? Oh, I don't want to talk to them. They're busy. They're busy because they like to be busy because busy people like to make money. And they put their time into things that they value. So if you can get to their values, their core values, they will shift focus and start putting time into that. People find time for what is important to them, right? So those are, and when they see what's important to them, 
you help them get clear on their core values and you show them a vehicle that can get them to their core values, they will help others and they'll motivate others to do the same thing because they recognize the leverage of the beauty of the business. So I hope that was valuable. Check the blog post. There will be more details in there. And, uh, you know, if you like that stuff, if this is valuable. Share it with your teams. That will get you through the learning curve a little faster if you're able to recognize this stuff. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Talk soon. Later.